Welcome to the Nick Finance Clips channel where we talk all things about safe investments and ETFs. If you're new to the channel, I hope you get value from this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about three ETFs that have floated to the top of my watch list at this time. I know people say ETFs are quite boring, but guess what guys? They've held up pretty well over the very long term. Now, without further ado, the first ETF on the list will be the very well-known Vanguard S&P 500 ticker VOO. It's a very, very, very big ETF with about $753 billion under management, and I've talked about it severally on this channel. But my attraction to these ETFs are several. Number one, I like the low expense ratio of 0.03% that allows me to keep the bulk of the returns I earn in this ETF. I like the fact that it has this amount under management. That's a testament to how folks are investing in this ETF. I also particularly like the manager of the ETF Vanguard because they've proven to be professional managers over a very long period of time. Now, with all of that being said, let's take a look at the breakdown of stocks in this ETF. If you check out the sector weighting, you'll see it's quite diversified across different sectors with financial services, consumer cyclical, healthcare, and communication services accounting for quite a large amount of allocation in this ETF. Now, what are the top 10 holdings in this ETF? Apple is number one, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet, that's Google, Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's company, Tesla, Nvidia, and JP Morgan. Now, when I look at this ETF, I love the top holdings. They are holdings that I think will do very well over the next 10, 20, or even 50 years, who knows? But again, that's just my personal opinion, all right? So that's the first ETF on the list, the Vanga S&P 500 ETF, which should not come as a surprise to anyone on this channel. Now, the second ETF I'd like to talk about at this point is the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund ETF. Now, whereas the VOO focuses on the S&P 500 companies, this one is a lot broader because it looks at the Total Stock Market Index. That means it looks at stocks that are in the large cap category, stocks that are in the mid cap category, even some small cap stocks as well. Now, if you check out the performance of this ETF over the, over the last five years, you would see a very good return of 87%. Now, good is relative in this context, but to someone like me who believes in growing wealth patiently over a long term, that is quite impressive. And I dare submit at this point, most asset managers hardly ever beat a standard investing in index funds. All right. So a couple of things I like about this ETF. Let's start out with the basic criteria that this ETF has, some of the data points. The ETF has 1.26 trillion under management. That's a huge net asset base, guys. I absolutely love that. I love people to see value in an ETF and have a large base. That's number one. Again, being a Vanguard ETF, 0.03% expense ratio is something I like a lot. Now, I've come across some other ETFs that have larger expense ratios and do not perform as well. So sometimes it seems like these investments may appear boring, but in the long term, they definitely do add value to their investors. Now, when we check out the holding breakdown of this ETF, again, spread across different sectors with consumer cyclical, financial services, healthcare, communications, also grabbing top slots and see that 24% from technology. Now, that would not surprise us because again, like we saw with the VOO, Apple is coming out number one, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Tesla, Berkshire, Nvidia, JP Morgan. Now, these are the biggest and I'll see some of the best companies in the United States. So by investing in this ETF, I'm diversifying my risk. I'm enjoying these long-term benefits by putting my money in a somewhat safe ETF long-term rather than having to pick individual stocks. So that will be the second ETF on my list today. Now guys, at this point, let me just chip this in. I'm not a financial advisor. All I do on this channel is explore different ETFs with you guys, show you their pros and cons, and also tell you what I learned from the principles of Warren Buffett. So this is not financial advice, just me sharing personal opinions with you guys. Now, those of you that follow me closely on the channel know I love dividends a lot on this channel. And the third ETF will be ticker VYM. That's the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. I've spoken about this ETF before on the channel, but I think it's worthy of another mention on this channel. Now, this ETF is particularly interesting. The five-year performance stands at 46.33%. We see, again, a very low expense ratio of 0.06%. 
Again, guys, the asset under management are not as big as what we saw with VOO and VTI because that just stands at 41.2 billion. But again, that's still some indication that folks are investing in this ETF and they appreciate the value it brings to the table. Now checking out the dividend paid on this dividend ETF, you'll see a 2.35% yield. Some folks say, hey, that yield is miserable. You can get up to 10% in some other ETFs. I agree. But the point is this, I'm willing to sacrifice that upside for peace of mind and earning a steady income over a very long period. And bear in mind also a five-year growth rate of 7.05% is not bad at all. This ETF pays its dividend quarterly. So I expect those quarterly paychecks to keep rolling into my account, regardless of how the market performs. And taking a look at the top 10 holdings that make up this ETF, you'll see Johnson & Johnson, JP Morgan again like we saw with the other two, Procter & Gamble, Home Depot, ExxonMobil, Bank of America, Chevron Corporation, Pfizer, AbbVie, Coca-Cola. These companies are dividend aristocrats, at least a couple of them are dividend aristocrats and they will exist for the very long term in my personal opinion. So we see financial services account for 22%, consumer defensive 14% and healthcare another 14%. I particularly like this ETF because in addition to the capital appreciation that you'd likely see on this ETF, you will also be getting some dividend paychecks in the interim. Now, that's not to say the other ETFs do not have dividends because, hey, they also pay dividends as well. But when you check the volume of dividend, it's quite lower with this ETF. This one has a 1.34% yield. That's the Vanguard S&P 500. This second one has a 1.26% yield, but the attraction to this one, like I mentioned, is the higher dividend yield at 2.76%. All right, so those are the top three ETFs on my list at this time, but I will not leave this video without asking you guys, what do you guys think about dividend ETFs? What do you guys think about the S&P 500 ETFs or even the total market ETF? Do you think these are worthy ETFs to look at or do you think they are ETFs not to look at at all? Then I also wanna ask another question. Which ETF would you guys prefer me to analyze further? Would you like me to do another video on Vanguard or you want me to check out Schwab and other ETFs that are in this category as well? Do let me know that in the comment section. With that said, thanks so much for watching this video again and hopefully I'll see you all again in the very next video. Cheers.